Hi friends, today in this video, I will show you, how to build your own variable bench power supply, from AC to 20 volts, to adjustable DC 0 to 60 volts, with 0 to 10 amperes of output. I first designed the simple circuit diagram, which first converts the AC input to DC, and this 12 volt fixed regulator, powers up the cooling fan and energy meter. And these power transistors drives the output load, with proper current sensing control using this IC, which allows to control voltage with this potentiometer, and also control current with this potentiometer. Then I converted the schematics into the PCB. For easy assembly I ordered PCBs from JLC PCB. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBs for just $2, efficient large scale production reduces costs, and bringing you PCBs in unbeatable prices. And then I prepared the PCB for its components. So, let's place all the components into the PCB according to the circuit diagram. After soldering, now trim the excess pins of components. Then I clean the PCB with isopropyl. And now our PCB looks nice and clean. Before any further ado, let me tell you that you can also order the same PCB for this project, without messing up on prep board. Just go to the video description, and with this link sign up on JLCPCB website. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronic engineers to develop projects efficiently. Just upload your Gubber file here, to get instant quote and order in minutes, it is easy as online shopping. After uploading, you can see the preview of the PCB. You can also change quantity and color of the PCB as per your requirements. Quality and lead time is reliable, all in house production, ensuring stability and strict quality control in every process, and lightning fast PCB production, in just 24 hours. And then you can save to the cart for the checkout process. Also don't miss JLC PCB 6 layer PCB special, get $30 off with a coupon, and enjoy top quality 6 layer PCBs, plus 2 UENIG finish, and no engineering fees for wire in pads. Now back to the video, you just need a good size of aluminium heatsink.
Also apply thermal paste for better heat dissipation. Also you need silicon pad for insulation. Use 3 mm bolt and secure the transistors at its place. Also you need a 12 volt cooling fan, and with a screw, secure it on the side of the heatsink. Connect the fan connector at its place. I use this 2 in 1 volt ampere meter, for monitoring the output energy. Take this connector out, and this needs to be soldered over here. Pre-solder the pads, and solder the wires. Also take this connector out, and connect in this connector. With screwdriver secure it at its place. Use alligator clip wires, and connect in this output connector. You can use this meter, but I have already converted same meter to bigger digit display, so I will use this. Connect the connectors at its place. Use these knobs for potentiometer for easy operation. Also you need a step down 24 volt transformer for power input. Connect these wires in this input connector, and with screwdriver tighten the screws. Now it's time to install this IC, that is the brain of this circuit. Place the IC into this IC base connector. Now connect the AC to this transformer. And as you can see, the circuit is powered up. You can now adjust both voltage and current output. Voltage can be adjusted maximum to 60 volts, but it depends on the input source, that should be same if you need wide range of output voltage. and current can be adjusted to maximum 10 amperes. Now for the test, let's set the voltage at 12 volts. I used this 12 volt 100 watt bulb for testing. As you can see, you can easily increase or decrease the current to load with this current potentiometer. You can also charge any type of battery using the same circuit.
just set the voltage output, and then you can control and adjust the current according to your requirements. As you can see the circuit is working perfectly, and you can easily adjust the current and also the voltage for different types of batteries. You can also enclose the circuit into a box, and make a professional and reliable lab bench power supply, for different applications. So, if you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up. For more useful videos, subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.